everybody, and welcome to another episode of PB Plays on the STVN server. And today, I am going to show you all the things I've been doing without you guys knowing. Why haven't I made a video in a very long time? I'll be completely honest, I've been totally 100% putting this off. Um, that and internet issues, but mostly me putting it off. The project that I've been teasing at, and some of you might know a little bit about it, um, I've been teasing about it in my player list videos for the MHC challenge that is redundant, the MH challenge, uh, Minecraft Hardcore Challenge, bam, there, okay, we got it, alright, so, um, I've been hinting at it, we've worked a little bit on it, we talked about our sort of subway system, you'll understand why there's just random slime blocks here in a second, but, uh, I've just been doing work and it's just been slow and steady and I have just, honestly, I put it off. I did one part of this the, probably like a month or two ago and, um, here we are now. So this is our new, this is our new, uh, nether area. I really like it. So I've been in the creative testing world and, and like I said, if you watch my playlist videos, you will see a whole bunch of my, I do them in my creative world, so there's a lot of just building and ideas on there. So one of the ideas I came up with um, was glass behind lighting sources, like full blocks. So uh, I'm going to be using this sea lantern with blues and whites and uh, maybe blacks and grays. Maybe we'll see. And then if I ever choose to do an orange area. Um, I'm going to do jack-o'-lanterns and orangish. Uh, but the new ender lights that are coming out, which I'm super psyched for, guys. Those are going to be going into sort of the interiors and being a lot of uh, uh, what? How do I say? A lot of uh detail work. Yeah. So as we can see here, I've decided to make all of this black just because I felt it looked better. Um, this is. One, not going to say here, this is 100% here, just so I remember there's a chest here with some stuff in it. Why is that chest still there? I don't know. Um, and I haven't replaced the back of here because this is a lot of wool. This is a lot of wool and I've used a lot more wool. Um, as for this, nothing has changed too much. I don't remember where we last off, left off with this. Um, uh, here's hoping there's not a creeper popping up behind me. Uh, I don't think I've changed this much. Maybe, possibly. Um, I'm still thinking I'm going to change the front of this, but uh, for the most part, I like it. As we can see here, now we have sort of a path path behind me. All right, so um, I just decided to go with a a transitionary thing here. So making, as I said, the glass with the lanterns and the lighting source and the black wool. Uh, <laughs> and all of that, and the carpet, uh, that we're using to make these stairs work, which, as I talked about when I made this, I believe, um, it's just cobblestone walls and, uh, carpets. So, down here, there's some cobblestone walls, and that is gone forever. There we go. And so, we go up from the carpet level, which is 0.6250 to 5 -0. so when we go up here it is just a little bit over half a block which I guess just works I guess it's negligible that uh, 0 0.06 so you just go up it let's hoping it always stays like that because I really like these stairs uh, mostly I like these lighting sources anyway so that's that and uh, as you can see there's a couple of things just lying around that I've passed in my uh, and me not wanting to show you this, so let's go up here backwards. This is one of my viewing points. So what I've been working on is that guy back there. So I don't think you guys have seen any of that before. So look at it, look at it. What I'm making back here, do you have any guesses? I'll give you five seconds. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Did you get it? Did you get it? Did you get it? If you guessed robot slash mech, then you are correct. 
you are 100% correct. I am totally building a robot mech. That is what's happening right here. So, as we can see after I fall asleep, I have done... So I had this outline done for probably a month or two now. Uh, probably, yeah, I no, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's totally been several months since I've had that outside sort of design. Um, to be honest with you, it was mostly like one side, and then I left it like that, and then eventually I uh, I fixed it um, because I got frustrated. I lagged out, and I just I got lagged out when I was fixing it. So um, luckily, I was doing everything in the replay mod uh, for that. Uh, I haven't been using it recently, but I was using the replay mod, and I was able to catch the before picture before I, I screwed it all up. And then I threw it in paint.net, which is sort of paint on steroids. Um, it's like a really cheap video editor that's just more advanced than paint. Um, and it's free, so if you want it, it's paint.net. If you can hear the train outside, I'm so sorry. I'm on the other side of my room from the window, which is only cracked open. Anyway, so... I had this side built, and then I built that side, and um, I figured out the perfect sym symmetry. And then I decided I wanted it to be farther apart because it looked very anorexic before. And um, now I have this. Um, and I'm taking a lot of inspiration from the Iron Giant and Pacific Rim. Those are my two. So yesterday, or the day before yesterday, or maybe two days ago, I don't really remember. But let me show you the path I get. The very lengthy path. Do I have these guys? Yes, I do. I'll explain all of this in a second. Um, this is my lengthy path to get to this tree right here. Well, not this tree. These trees over here. So I could see the side profile. So I just did this side profile uh, yesterday or the day before somewhere. It's been a few days. And here's another one of my trees. As you can see, I've marked it. <laughs> Um, and this is what I have so far. Um, this is going to be obviously sort of the breastplate. And, uh, I still, it's a mech, you know? And I want it to look a little bit humanoid. Um, so that's why I'm going with sort of like a breastplate, uh, fit, like I said. And also making it a little bit fat. If you notice, it does go out fairly a lot. Especially in the back here, we can see it gets, um, flat and fat. Um, I'm taking, like I said, inspiration from Pacific Rim, and I've noticed that the mechs are very, very fat, and I figure that's because of the armor plating. And I'm like, you know what? That's why this robot exists, this robot mech. And so, I haven't decided which. I don't really remember the difference between them. And to d yesterday, so maybe it was two days ago that I did this part. Um, yesterday, I started on making a 3D. It's because I, I have some pictures and I'll put them up now. Did I do it? I hope I remember. And so I put some pictures out. And, um, or I'm putting pictures up. Showing you guys sort of the progress. Uh, just because I, I don't play on my desk, which is where I have my external hard drive. And I'm too lazy to go pick it up. Right now I have it. I've picked it up. Um, so I could show you guys this. And as you can see, I went from sort of that 2D skeleton to now... A sort of getting the 3D idea of it. And then I went for this little, ow, 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 the circle, to like start getting that idea. And yeah, so I just recently built that. And so as you guys can see, I built a square. And so what I do is I pick a spot. And I square it out. And then from there, I get a better way to visualize the circle. Or the 3D aspect of it. Because, believe it or not, uh, it is not the easiest thing in the world. Uh, oh god. Okay, didn't die. Thank god for feather falling. Um, Alright, so hopefully you guys are back now. I haven't really done much in the fact of terraforming around here. Uh, I did finally turn that portal off, and I have officially moved over here, as you guys just saw. Uh, I think I also changed the proportions of that portal. Like I said, it's been a really long time. Oh, oh, I haven't even shown you guys the coolest part. So this 100%, if you guys watch my... You're, you guys already saw this shot, but I, I love that shot. You guys... 
if you watch my player list videos, you 100% have already seen this. Um, it was different colors, but you have 100% seen this. So if you're one of those, just don't spoil it for anybody else, guys. Don't don't be that guy. Um, this is the middle. I can't remember if it's the the blocks or the ladder, but one of those. One, oh no, it's the blocks. The blocks are in the middle. So if we look down, da 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 da. I have a pattern for my floor now. Do you like it? Do you like it? Do you like it? I like it. Uh, I took this inspiration. I stole it, sort of. I don't think I, I don't remember if I stole it completely or if I just took inspiration from it. Uh, from a Tron inspired build somebody did on uh and submitted it to some like architecture thing. I don't know, some like designy buildy thing. Uh, if I can find it, like it's been a really long time. If I can find it, I will totally link it down in the link dump. Um, also known as the description. So here we could see uh because like I said, Pacific Remy, Iron Gianty, and Tronny. Um, the color scheme is going to be very Tron, if you guys couldn't tell from, you know, that path right over here. <laughs> this path and all of that. Um, I'll explain all of that in a second. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. So if we can see, I'm not totally in love with the shape of it. It does still look very square-y. It looks like um, a square, but I can live with it. One, because it's Minecraft. Two, because um, it's, you know, it's not supposed to be a circle. You know, it's supposed to have an organic shape. And I started with the easiest one, to be honest. I started with... Let's go back over here. Oh, I thought I, like, hit that... That torch, and I was about to be a sad girl. Um, oh, hey, you finally migrated over. Good for you, Mr. Rabbit. That rabbit started off somewhere up there. And I would just... Every time I come over here, I see it go a little bit and a little bit more over here. To join all its buddies over on the other side, ultimately. The Great Migration of Ebert the Rabbit. So, what was I saying? Yes. I started with, I started over here because it's the skinniest part. Um, it starts getting, like, significantly fatter over here and over here. So this is sort of the, it's not the waist area, the waist area is down here. But that, this is sort of like the rib cage. The rib cage before you actually hit it, it's like right under there. Um, I guess your stomach area? IDK. So I started there. That's the easiest one. Um, because as we see, I have to make a breastplate. <laughs> and then I also have to take it, keep in mind that there's armor here. So this is going to be fatter. And, uh, this is going to be fatter because this is sort of going to be like an arm socket, right? So like this, you can imagine there's going to be an arm coming out of it. Uh, whether it's going to be down, up, destroyed, I don't know. Uh, it's a long time until we get there, but there's going to be... I have to remember that there's going to be an arm socket here, on like the bottom half, I guess, and over there. So I have to keep in mind that I need to bulge that out, and so it needs to bulge. So I guess it's easier if I go this way to show it to you guys, or I could just do it from over here. I need to bulge out this way, and then go back in. And then come back out um, a little bit and then do like a, a seamless <laughs> transition from this being really flat into not being flat into the arm. Um, so it's going to be an interesting thing to visualize. So uh, blah, blah, blah. you guys probably want to talk more about the robot. Um, I already have the head sort of figured out. Like I said, if you want to go check it out, it's in my player list video. It's not the same mech. It's not the same design, but that's my first, like, concept. And since then, I've improved on my visual idea. I really liked these things when I first made it, and uh, so I kept it. So, uh, next thing, as you can see, I have slime blocks all over the place, and I have a bunch of wool and slime blocks. So a very long time ago, I started watching a guy named Jesse Cox. So I started watching Jesse Cox um, because I found a video he did, uh, which was like a, I don't want to, it's not a snapshot, but it's like visit somebody's cool server and show us their really cool builds um, series that he has since no longer does. Um, but it is how I found him. He no longer does Minecraft either. So if you're excited, he's an everything uh, YouTuber. And he's really, he's really into Heroes of the Storm. He has a team and all of that. Anyways, um, 
yeah, so this guy, Jesse Cox, he did this thing with uh, Middle Earth. Is that what the server's called? The Middle Earth server? Which are the people who did are making a server uh, that is, I believe, very close to scale. <laughs> like, not super to scale, but like a very good scale of actual Middle Earth, as according to the book. Like, they've made, like, the Mines of Moria, and it looks super cool and all of that stuff, and, you know, they've made the Elven City, and, the, um, you can, you know, it's a great video, it's, like, probably five years old now, but it's a great video, and they've done more stuff, and so, um, Jesse has also been trying to make an RPG in Minecraft for a very long time, and, um, his build team has been on it for fucking years now. Anyway, so, in, they do, like, building updates where... Uh, he'll release a video, he hasn't done one in forever, but like I said, he does one every once in a while. And he got the Minecraft Middle, Middle Earth uh, guys to come on, and they showed him how, you know, they figure out how they're going to do these large builds. And the way they did it is by zoning things. So, for example, the purple wool would mean, alright, this is going to be the merchanty area. Alright, and this is the general sh organic shape I want it to be. All right, the the blue area is going to be um seaside towns or whatever um the seaside buildings or where the ports are or whatever um the light blue is going to be the industrial area uh which is going to be right next to the port area because you know it's just more convenient uh in lore that way and so on and so forth so after that i was like you know what that's a really fucking good idea for like big builds and so I got really tired, like I said, <laughs> I've been putting this off forever, and it's just, guys, I've already done it. I've done it in creative. I've done, like, part of one in creative, and it took me for fucking ever. It was a lot of just, do I like how that looks? No. Let's go back. Let's erase it. All right, let's go back down. How can I make this better? Visualize it. All right, let's do it again. Blah, 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 blah. All right, let's back up. Nope, still don't like it. Erase. All right, go back. Still no. And, like, on my 10th try, I got something I would like. And then I would change out all the blocks to... Oh, I guess I didn't talk about that. Um, So to finish off that, uh, I thought it was a great idea. So I started zoning out areas. And another thing they did is they used a certain, like, wool color to show... Uh, this is where the roads are going to be. Now, I'm not going to waste my wool on that. So I was like, what is something I have a lot of? And I was like, I have a ton of slime blocks around me. And these are easy to break, too. Uh, those are my two requirements, because I'm very fickle with my roads. Um, and since this isn't going to be a very organic area, this is going to be very, like, straight and uh, geometric, I guess is the best way to describe it. So, And here, this is going to be a sort of memorial of the first time we landed here, because this is the first thing I put up to show that this is going to be my future base. Not over there, it was over here. Um, the original thing. So, as I was saying... Once I finally decided this was something I liked, I changed it. So let's go over here. I gave Taco a whole bunch of wood, and so he gave me a bunch of stone, I believe. And I, yep, there it is. Thank you. I lagged out, so I didn't get to see it. Um, so here we have the three colors I'm using. I'm using uh, cyan, stone, and stone bricks. So the cyan, oh, well, let's go in order. So the stone is going to be sort of the main color of this all. However, stone does not have an obvious um, outline when you're just looking at it. That's why I like it. I want it to be like very just metallic in, and smooth. You know, I sort of want that look. Almost everything else minus clay has lines that define this is one block, that is another block. And clay is a son of a bitch to mine, <laughs> and uh, this is going to take hundred, like probably thousands of pieces of stone. Like, it doesn't look like it. It honestly doesn't look like it, but that's because we're like 50 blocks away. Once you start getting closer to it, you're like, oh, like this ring, this ring around here, just one, one layer of like one side of this, like not both sides, just this one layer, just this, just this inner circle was probably a little over two stacks, or a little under two stacks. So this outer area was like two, maybe three and a half stacks. 
Um, and this goes up like, I think like 50 or 60, maybe even 70 blocks. So, and this is going to get wider. Like this thing cost me, uh, probably like two, three stacks also. So, um, that's why I'm like, my going rate for everything right now is stone. If you have a surplus of stone, please give me your stone. I'll take stone bricks also, because like I was talking about, um, so my stone is going to be my main color because that's what I want sort of uh the feel to be. I want it to be smooth and metallic. And clay is way too expensive and I'm our clay biome, our mesa biome is way too far away for me to just be shipping back and forth. And this guy, stone bricks, you can tell the difference between them, right? You can be like, alright, that from far away I could just be like, that is one block, that is another block, and that is another block without outlining it. From back here I can be like, okay, one, two, three because of this little line. This little line always gives it away, so I can I always know how many there are. And uh, so those are my three blocks. Um, this is my main block. This is the one that signifies something important. Like, this is the shape I want. So this entire outside is made out of stone bricks. That entire circle is made out of stone bricks. This is made out of stone bricks. Um, the inside, when I finally decide to fill in because I'm gonna do a bunch of these circles. I'm gonna do a bunch of them. Um trying to get the main idea and then I'm going to, you know, build them together. And it'd be like, alright, so this is how this shape is going to be and that's how that shape's gonna be and this shape's gonna be. I'm even thinking of maybe doing like a an eighth, like cutting this in half and then getting another one going that way. Uh so I have a better three D picture of this. Um but honestly that just might take more time than it's worth. And uh, this guy, as you saw in the picture, is going to be my square. Um, this is my square, so I know. And also probably just going to be a, a tertiary color, because in my other world, I'm using gray wool, stone, stone bricks, iron, and something else I'm using, so I can signify, all right, these are the differences. All right. Um, so this is my inner wall. This is my outer wall. The reason I have an inner and outer wall is because uh, the waist is usually covered. This is probably like where the joints are going to be inside uh, for like the legs. But since I'm not doing the legs uh, because I'm only doing the upper half, this is sort of like the armor that's covering those vulnerable joints. And um, and that's where this part syncs with this part. Yeah. So that's why there's two walls here. Um, let's see, blah, 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 and is there anything else I want to talk about before the end of this episode? Who knows how long this is, because I, I did not put up a timer. Uh, is there anything else I want to talk about? Yes, so I'll probably do a bunch of redstone -y stuff in between, in these, like, two, three blocks right here, if possible. Um, I'm really in love by, uh, with three by three, like, hallways and doorways right now. So there's probably going to be a ton of those all over the place. Um, I'm trying to go with more of a hexagony shape, which is why these are all very hexagony and squares. Um, because if you look at Tron, if you watch Tron, it's all polygons, right? It's all just hexagons all over the place. Um, however, in Minecraft, hexagons are very difficult to do on a small scale. I'm not going to say difficult. It's impossible to do a small scale hexagon. So as you can see here, this is like a, a bigger one that looks a lot more like a circle than a hexagon. Um, I'd have to make it larger to make it look more like a hexagon, but I mean, it works, you know, whatever. Um, so that's going to be my geometric shape for this. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to be, this is, I'm going to redo the spider farm. I don't know if I've told you guys this. I'm redoing the spider farm. I know. I know what you're saying. But PB, you spent so much time on the spider farm before. Why are you redoing it? Well, guys. Oh, no. Oh, no. Er, no. It's fine. We don't need to go down there. It'll be a nightmare to come back up. Um, one, it's a nightmare to go up, <laughs> to go up stupid minecarts when you're lagging the hell out. It's so annoying. Two, uh, Minecraft is breaking the uh, the little iron bar thing I have there. I guess we can go down now. Oh no, nope. never mind. Minecraft said no. You know that little. Uh... This thing, it's breaking it. Um, it doesn't. It no longer works. Let's just put it that way. It no longer works. 
in multiplayer, uh, this, you get hit a lot. Um, and this is a very small space. This is a very small space. You have to stand somewhere over here to not get hit. Um, and, uh, when you throw a potion, you go back. Oh, I remember what breaks. This crushing thing. The crusher no longer works. Um, it pulls them back and they die there. So you have to throw potions at them. And so this is not the most optimal way of doing it. Um, and, uh, there's a lot of other mechanical things that I want to do now. So, although this was a cool little cockpit, this would have been way more cool if I could stand in any of these four blocks and not get killed. Five blocks and not get killed. Um, I'm restrained to these three blocks over here. Otherwise, I get poisoned. Um, so, although this was cool for a while, I'm gonna redo it. I know how to redo it. I've done it. Um, all that it requires is a lot of fucking work. <laughs> Sorry. It takes a ton of work, guys. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make channels. So, instead of them flowing this way, they're gonna flow that way. Um, because they'll, uh, they, they spawn, it's too many of them. So one elevator up isn't going to work. So I'm going to do four separate elevators, uh, maybe two separate elevators. I don't know how, how I'm going to do it as of right now, but, um, I'm going to switch these streams. So they go that way instead, and they're going to drop and then they're going to go to one centralized area. And then they're going to go up in the special cave spider elevator, water elevator. And then they're going to go up and then they're going to come out like, uh, pipes essentially into one central pipe and then they're gonna end up in um one little area sort of like this sort of like these pipes down there here that i have it's gonna be like this um but with two or four of them i don't know i'm still deciding and then it depends on how fast this thing works and it's because they also get sick it's not like 100 percent anyway so uh because I'm going to do that, it's all going to be moved up, and this is the level these guys are on. Um, so we're on 34 right now, so we have to go up 10 blocks so it doesn't affect the... Um, so it doesn't affect the... Ah, um, uh, the spawn cap, the spawn cap of those... Oh, by the way, these these slime blocks keep scaring me, I keep thinking they're creepers. Um, and I keep panicking, so it's just always going to keep me on my toes, um, because I don't want anything to blow up. <laughs> oh, man, I was going to end this episode. This is probably a super long episode. Uh, where did I put food? Uh, we're going to starve. Uh, oh, my God. Uh, um, uh, uh, I've made a video. I made a video. I don't know if I put it up yet. I don't know if I'm going to add it in here. No, I'm not. It's going to be a separate video. It's probably going to come out after this video. Um, but uh, thank you, everybody, who got me a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, Taco gets a special mention, because I doubt I'm going to re-render that episode. Um, let's see. What did it, uh, he got me... He got everyone, like, two golden apples. A, I, uh, I think... He, I know he gave me a bunch of... Like obsidian and a whole bunch of oh you know where it all is it's all over here, him and MS um oh god food I know I have food somewhere around here don't I I have some cooked chicken this first day cooked chicken I feel bad eating this this is first day cooked chicken let's put that back <laughs> um do I have do you guys see food do you guys see any golden carrots I feel like I had golden carrots maybe I put them over there I have regular carrots I can make more I have like gold sitting all over the place. Um, uh, do you see food? I don't see food. Do you see food? I don't see food. Ah, food. Yes. Yes. I also have carrots all over the place. Thanks, DP. So, uh, let's move over here. Pop, 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 Um, what was I going to show you? What was I going to show you? What was I going to do? What was I going to do? Oh, yes. The gifts. They're over here. So, he got us a bunch of anvils and vials, I was going to say. Um, let's see. Uh, I, yeah, yeah. Got us a bunch of anvils. He gave us those two... I He gave us those two golden notch apples, um, which are no longer going to be able to be craftable. I believe he got us a block of diamond also. Something like that. He gave us like a ton of stuff. He was insane in the membrano. 
So as of right now, I don't have anything over there. Um, I'm thinking of doing like an agriculture area over there, but I don't know. Um, oh, 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 and the very last thing, very last thing, very last thing. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Let's go run back, run back. I wish I had a speed beacon that set up around here, but I don't. Uh, so you could just see the outline of um this nether rack. This is the end of the render distance at ten chunks. Um. I don't know if the server is higher, but I, I only do 10 chunks because of uh, frame rate. Um, at 10 chunks, I could just barely see that or barely come from over there and see this. So uh, I know because the last thing I can see is the stupid mushroom. I can see these trees and this mushroom. So I know how far away it is. And like, I can't see any of that. So I'm not going to really use any of this land back here. I know this is where I have all my stuff, but I don't have any special attachment to anything. Uh, maybe this thing down here, like the little cave for that access entrance for over there, but I did I'm going to do that. Um, so back here, this entire area, probably starting from here um, and all of this, this is going to be literally just skyline. This is literally just going to be background. Um, I'm probably not going to use any of these buildings for anything. But I am going to build them. And yes, you heard me correctly. I am building a skyline. So if you've ever, ever looked up cyberpunk, you will notice that all the pictures always look dark and dreary. And I have an idea for that. And you guys are going to call me crazy when I tell you. But um, not the point of today. Because if we're not doing that right now, we have to build that thing before I do anything else. Um, yes, if you ever see it, you just see tall skyscrapers tall skyscrapers and neon lights everywhere so it's neon 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 and skyscrapers all over the place and i want that i want that feel so everything i'm going to build is going to be tall and uh, skyscrapy or sm like small buildings in between skyscrapers it's not they're not going to be like super together um, it's going to look like they're together, but really they're going to be staggered. Like some are going to be over here and then over here are going to be another one. So it's going to look like, like that. And then there's going to be another one over here and another one over here. So it's going to be staggered. Uh, so it looks like there's a whole bunch of them, uh, or like they're all connected, but it's just going to be an optical, uh, optical illusion, because uh, illusion, not illusion, because, uh, like I said, we're never going to be back here. Um. And that's why this nether rack is going higher. Uh, because I was like 20 blocks from from this level, from ground level. And I'm like, no, 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 no. How about 25 blocks? Nope, still looks really short. How about 30 blocks? And I'm like, I like 30 blocks more. Um, and plus, I don't really want any of the buildings around... Like, the buildings around here can probably be... Um, okay, so this is what it's going to be. The buildings closest to this can't be taller than it. and They have to be smaller. It's, I don't want it to be taller. And like I said, that's going to be about 50, 60, maybe 70 blocks. I don't really remember. Um, so the farther away we get, we can get taller. Because like I said, uh, the farther away from this thing, I'm probably not going to use it. Uh, except this thing. So it's going to be tall. And tall. And then going to come back down. So it's going to be sort of woo, that sort of shape, you know? Um... So that's why I don't want it to be any taller. Uh, let's see, anything else? Is there anything else I want to talk about? Um, if anybody has an overabundance of black wool on the server, I would love you forever. If you need anything from me or buy anything from me, uh, I, uh, and you would like to pay me, pay me with probably stone or stone bricks and black wool or sea lanterns. I'll take sea lanterns. I'll take glass and I'll take wool um though that's my going rate I don't need any more diamonds if I need diamonds I'm fine uh what I need are are wool preferably of white or black variety I'm gonna have to make a sheep pen myself I brought some sheep over god knows where they are now you know what I bet you they're all in the nether oh there's one yep I bet you the rest of them went into the nether, because that's what they were doing. Uh, but, but I'm going to make a sheep pen just full of black wool, if you guys have seen. Uh, oh, 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 I forgot. So make sure to go welcome the new SCVN members. So if you guys can hear a squeaky bed, I'm sorry. Uh, go, go say hello to them. We have three, I believe. 
I think they've all been announced. At least they probably will be by the time this is out. We're gonna we have Seg Seg Revan. We have Grevin. Uh, we have the Admiral. Uh, I don't remember his channel name. The Minecraft Admiral, Minecraft Crafter, Minecraft Helper, Minecraft Builder, something like that. It's Minecraft something. Um, but he's the Admiral. He's also in here. And then we have uh Torfi and Torfi. I believe those are our absolutely new members. They just recently joined. I believe. I think all of them have episodes out now. Um, and yeah. Uh, yes. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have any suggestions or if you guys, if you guys, if you guys would like to submit like some, some skyscraper ideas, I would love that. Lo love, love that. Uh, I have one design, oh god, design in mind. If you're wondering what my, uh, color scheme is going to be, it's going to be white, uh, white glass. It's going to be those ender rods. It's going to be a lot of stone because <laughs> it's going to be a lot of resources and I'm not willing to really, uh, go mining for expensive things. Um, let's see, sea lanterns, probably a ton of them, those end rods, a lot of glass. It's going to be a lot of light gray. A lot of dark gray and a lot of black, a lot of white, a lot of light blue, sort of like we saw in there. Maybe some, uh, any neony colors, any color that you can see neony, I'll, I, I'm willing to use them. Um, which are a lot of the, the glasses, but not all of them, like dark green, that doesn't really work. Um, uh, is there anything else? Yes, yeah, so it's gonna be stone, stone brick, neony colors, um, Cyberpunky, so keep that in mind. Um, it's gonna be dark and dreary. I'm gonna be using cyan clay. Uh, so a lot of grays. It's gonna be very gray. Um, very, everything's gonna be really gray, and the only thing that pops out are going to be the neon y, uh, colors of, um, maybe signs, advertisements, uh, the lighting, and stuff like that. Like actual neon, like the neon elements that makes, uh, fluorescent bulbs and all of that. So, uh, if you guys have any ideas or would love to submit them, I would love to see them. Uh, take pictures of them, show me them, or, you know, anything like that. Leave a comment, send me a, a YouTube message, or the m easiest way to get into contact with me, just contact me on Twitter at PBPlaysInside. All one word. Um, I'm mostly active there. If you're ever wondering where something is, just go there. And, uh, yeah, so... Now that the cat's out of the bag, I'm really ha glad I can finally show you some updates on Twitter. So if you want to see some more updates on Twitter or more updates on this build, because they're going to be sparse, um, because it's a lot of work and, um, really all of this is a lot of work and it's really uninteresting to watch. So yes, uh, please, please, please send me your design ideas for skyscrapers. Even if it's just like a drawing of a concept, I will totally take it. Um, I'm in desperate need of more, like, cyberpunky ideas. Like I said, Pacific Rim, Tron, and Iron Giant Mech are the ideas I am going for. Um, I want it to be a little bit more... Mm, I want to say, like, dark fantasy. Like, fantasy-esque world. So, um, and remember, keep in mind, cheap, cheap... If it's going to be a lot in the build, make it cheap. <laughs> cheap things uh it's just a ton of like stone's already hard enough to get can you imagine stone it's hard to get <laughs> um so yeah uh there's a lot of big projects but i want them to look good and i want them to use the least amount of expensive resources so thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it don't forget to be nice to each other don't forget to be compassionate please send me your ideas for the cyberpunk area i know you guys were a little bit excited for it and I hope you guys are hype. Let me know down below. Let me know on Twitter. Let your friends know that I'm building a freaking robot. Rah! Thank you guys for watching again. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Ooh, it's a robot, guys. It's a robot. Ah, it's a robot. Ah. Bye.